we needed to prepare them. And that, that kind of marked a different stage in the war. And now we've come to kind of the stagnation phase. You've just asked me uh, what would happen if we don't get this uh, fighter jets or the longer range missiles, or we don't have enough uh, ammunition or, because everything obviously is, you know, running out and um, coming out of maintenance. Uh, or if you don't have this 185 artillery, you know, there will be stagnation. These people will be coming and be living on our territory and this will pose great risk to all of the world because they've just now they've captured a nuclear station and they just live there you know they and this kind of risk will be everywhere because they are you've just been listening there to the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky speaking alongside the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak uh, talking about uh, the support and help for Ukraine in their fight against Russia. And uh, now the British Prime Minister spoke about uh, the British people's staunch and unwavering friendship with the Ukrainians. Uh, the UK Prime Minister saying they're going to expand their training of Ukrainian troops. He said in the last six months they've already trained 10,000 Ukrainian troops. They'll now expand that to include a training for both Marines and fighter jet pilots. On the question of fighter jets, uh, the British Prime Minister said nothing is off the table. And the Ukrainian president said uh, these were very fruitful discussions. We'll have more in the coming hours. Thanks so much for watching One World. I'm Linda Kincaid. Armin Poor is next.